Alright, we set our lathe up and now we're going to look at facing off the collet. Now, this piece of aluminium in here is the collet that's going to make the whole apparatus of your, of your shovel work properly. So, we need to put it in just like we did before, about a finger width out, so that you don't need to support it with a live center. And we've got our right hand tungsten carbide cutting tip in. Now, the way you know how it's a right hand is if you put both of them together, the flat pointing towards the tip is which way it cuts. So this one cuts towards the right, this one cuts towards the left. So when we're facing off, we need a right hand tip to cut across, and then when we're going to cut down later, we'll have a left hand tip to cut to the left. So once that's in, we can go ahead and put our safety guard down, turn our lathe on, put it in forwards, and we're going to wind it up, or wind it in first, wind it to the left until that tip just touches our collet. So see how those little bits of metal just flew off? That means it's just touching. It means I can bring it out and I can move my x axis one millimeter to the left, which you can't really see very well on the video, but your teacher will have shown you how to do it. So I'm going to move it one millimeter to the left. I'm going to turn my coolant on. Always make sure the coolant pump's not facing you when you turn it on, because it can come out quite quick. Turn it on. Now this needs to line up on the tip, because the tip is the part that you're trying to keep um, cool. So line it up there, and then we can go through and slowly wind that tip through to the center. Now I'm using two hands on my y-axis so that I get that nice smooth movement. Once we get all the way into the center, slow it down. And you want to move your x-axis to the right, so it brings it away. Now, if it leaves that little nipple there, that means that our cutting tip isn't quite centered. If we were to measure that with a vernier, it would tell us exactly how much we need to raise or lower it, but that much of a nipple is okay for what we're going to be doing. What we now need to do, take our collet out, flip it over, about a finger width out, and do the exact same process on this side. Now the reason we're doing this is because these are all rough cut, and you can well, you probably can't see this one, but it's on quite an angle, so it's rough cut, we're going to cut it off so it's at 90 degrees to the rest of the shaft.